right okay this is the angel hug for monday the 5th of november and before i go on i just want to say um it's been a really really rough couple of weeks i just want to remind us all that it's important for us to keep sending our love out and our prayers out towards everyone who's been affected by the current storms well the recent storms and hurricanes and also to just very quickly remind everyone that if you are feeling a bit tired if you are an empath if you are very sensitive and you're having that feeling of you know waking up in the morning and feeling exhausted as if you haven't slept it's because you are helping some of those souls to pass over into the light sometimes when we have a lot of souls suddenly going over at once this is what happens that we get called into service throughout the night and that's one of the things that we do but it's also important for us to keep sending our prayers as well as doing that to everyone who's been left here who is grieving or just for people who are panicking or just you know just feeling cold or feeling as if they're not being cared for or without lights without electricity without water all of those people still need our prayers it's an adjustment and when things like this happen and we feel the energy of it we realize how much we really are connected and how much what happens to one really does affect the whole right so and i do feel we're going to become more of aware of that um, in the coming weeks aware of our connection and of how these things have a knock-on effect into everything so it's really important for us to stay very grounded very centered in love absolutely okay so we're going to shuffle a card for us hopefully on a lighter note for today monday right and i'm giving us a color card because i feel as if we need some color and the card for today is be persistent and i'm going to relate that to what we've just talked about um slightly what i've just talked about rather right um that in the sense that we need to really keep being very clear about where we believe we're going, where we feel we can go as a collective consciousness and to continue with that, to continue believing in that no matter what and to just stay, regardless of these things, these shifts that are happening, regardless of anything that feels chaotic, just to stay very much centered in not only the love but also in that belief that we can actually come together to create something better and just uh, relating it personally now for anyone who is beginning on a new journey this week or who is really just making slight adjustments as we talked about last week a little bit of tweaking to your vision and throwing yourself into something new and maybe more creative just remember that if things don't fall into place automatically, we have a belief sometimes as light workers that when it flows, it's meant to be. Yes, that's absolutely true. But also, let's remember that sometimes when we really want to achieve something or we really want to manifest something, we need to be persistent in our actions and not just give up the first time if it doesn't automatically fall into place. So it's, um, it's a two-way street. It's, it, it takes action. It takes courage. It takes conviction. Um, it takes belief and faith and imagination and it also takes persistence. I know that's several things, not just two, but you know what I mean. In other words, well, what I'm being told is you have to meet us halfway. Okay, that's coming from spirit. Right, so I just want to very, very quickly um, do a shuffle for uh, the Wayseer. That's my lucky dip person for the day. And the question is, I'm open to seeing if my psychic gifts will grow into fruition. It's not really a question, but um, okay, what I felt before I came on, because I usually tune in before I start recording, is that all you need to do is to relax a little bit more about the way that you're hoping for this to develop. I've got, um, I'm being told that you've got some clear ideas about what you would like to happen, the specific gifts that you'd like, and yet you are already using your gifts. And perhaps this attachment to an idea of how it should happen is holding you back a little bit. They're saying to me that you're already using your gifts a lot. You're already very clear sentient. You're already, you have a very strong knowing and you're able to guide people um, from that knowing and sometimes to guide yourself when you listen. And you need to just trust that and allow everything else to awaken in its own time. 
about five years ago I feel that you made a commitment to really develop and you feel it a little bit as if it should have happened by now and it is happening it's just sometimes there's a lot of preparation before your gifts will suddenly start to awaken in a burst and I feel as if Christmas could be quite important for you in terms of seeing another leap in your awakening you need to start to develop a practice of meditating for approximately 15 minutes every day, at least. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of time, but I would say a minimum of 15 minutes and no more than 30 minutes. Just connecting with your guides and seeing what they want to bring through. Do your grounding and your protection and everything else beforehand. And let me know if I can help you with that and just drop me an email. Right, I'm going to shuffle and pick a quick card for you now because I've been rambling on for ages today. Right, healthy lifestyle. Okay, so um, it's just really important for you to notice the things that you do in your life that can help you to raise your frequency, that help you to become more attuned. So, for example, do I feel this, it's easy to tune in more when I drink more water? Because, I mean, it's, I'm not going to start getting into it because it's so intricate. I could talk for hours about this, about some of the things that we can do to raise our frequency in order to become uh, better psychic conductors or more able to receive uh, information. I know the angels will, say, will just say, make a practice of it, make a consistent practice of it. And that is really important. But from my personal human experience, it also helps to raise our frequency through some of the things we do using food, using using water, using cleansing and detoxing and all of those things. But you don't have to go into that in a huge major way if that doesn't feel right for you. So I'm just going to say today, just for your message, just be aware of anything that you can change and tweak in your lifestyle in order to raise your vibration and make that uh, connection flow even more easily. That's it, everyone. Have a great Monday and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.